Dwight York slams Man United and claims he wouldn't want to play for Eric Ten Hag's team, as his former strike partner Andy Cole insists modern stars have tarnished the legacy we left. Dwight York believes Man United's allure to big players is fading nowadays. Andy Cole thinks their legacy is being tarnished by the club's repeated failures. Dwight York delivered a damning indictment of the state of Manchester United, claiming he would not want to play in Eric Ten Hag's team, while Modern players are second-guessing whether to join a club that has lost its X-Factor. Monday's humiliating 4-0 loss to Crystal Palace leaves them on 54 points after 35 games, raising the prospect that Ten Hag could oversee the club's worst-ever Premier League campaign. For York, who joined United in a blockbuster move at the start of a treble-winning 1998-99 season from Aston Villa, the allure of United is fading on today's big names, I think that people are second-guessing about whether they want to join United, York said, it never used to be a club that you contemplated coming to. United is in for you? You don't think about it. Now players are thinking I am not so sure. That's not a good sign. Asked if he would like to occupy the striker role of Rasmus Hodgland right now, the 52-year-old was emphatic, I wouldn't want to play, he said, whether you want to face that sort of aggro coming in, it's just knowing that there's a lack of creativity, lack of passion, the negative talk about the team. It's just a real bad place to be if you are a United player, not just a centre-forward, York sat alongside former teammate Andy Cole as he reflected on the current United side's malaise on a night that was all about celebrating the treble heroes of 99 ahead of a new documentary that airs next week, the pair's blossoming relationship en route to winning the Premier League, FA Cup and European Cup was obvious in the three-part film. So too was the team's high standards to deliver success, for Cole, he has been left upset at United's dramatic decline, it's hard because I never saw Manchester United being in this position, I've got to be brutally honest, he said, ultimately, the team that I was involved in, we left a legacy for players who want to come to the club and try to emulate us and do the same thing. Sometimes I look at the team now, and the teams previously, and you scratch your head, because you've got to understand what Manchester United is all about. It's about winning, it's about competing, it's about being involved in and pushing for major honours, especially in the domestic game, we're so far away. We keep saying oh another couple of years, but it's been longer than a couple of years, we've got to be brutally honest. When are Man United going to be involved in the title race? Who knows? It is like that now. The pair were in agreement before hitting the red carpet that modern-day United, who are 8th in the Premier League and 13 points outside the top four, are a world away from the treble winners, it's so far apart, it's not even close to say the least, York said, what is more painful about it is we can't even qualify for the Champions League. For me, that's the minimum. You can accept you aren't close to winning the league, but when you aren't even qualifying for the Champions League, that's a whole new level. The pair also look pained when asked about the sympathy they feel for Hodgland, the 21-year-old arrived in the summer for £72 million and bar a short purple patch over the Christmas period. He has found it tough to carry the entire goal-scoring load this season, for Cole and York, who were pushed on during the treble season by Teddy Sheringham and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Hodgland needs far more help to reach his true potential, I've said many times that for such a young guy to come to Manchester United and score goals it's difficult, Cole said, to come to Man United and have no one to learn off, it's difficult. Me coming to Man United I had Sparky E. Mark Hughes, and Eric. Cantona, they move on. I had Yorkie, Teddy, Ole, and I genuinely like to believe we all took something from each other's game and we all learned from each other, when you have a young man come to Man United and everyone says he's Man United's number 9. You're like he's not experienced enough to be number 9.